New this morning, we're talking about recent fires in D.C. linked to lithium batteries. It's happening more often than you think, and our Jacqueline Quinn joins us now to take a closer look at how many incidents we've seen in the district and what people need to know to stay safe. Jacqueline, good morning. Good morning, Annie. So this is not only becoming a significant issue in suburbs, but particularly in cities where people live much closer together. Since we've been covering these related fires, we've looked at the numbers in just D.C. alone this year. There have already been three incidents involving these lithium ion batteries, with one resulting in serious injury. In 2023, there were eight incidents, and in 2022, the whole year had just three. However, this is happening almost everywhere across the country. We spoke with a local nonprofit that's raising awareness about this issue, and it says part of the problem is substandard batteries entering the consumer market. The other issue is that these batteries reach their end of life cycle or become damaged and it's not that easy to dispose of them. So for instance, um, your EV vehicles, your larger batteries that are out there, they're going to have a second life to them. It's important that you're recycling those, again, environmentally speaking, but also to make sure that they're kept out of landfills and stuff like that because they create huge fire issues for the people that are trying to recycle them. Uh, again, pretty hard to get rid of them. And coming up at 630, what experts say about where you should place these charging devices in your home. It could make a huge difference in case of a fire. Wisdom.